Hey there, it's All Man Clan. Welcome back. We are at Tom's Camperland in Phoenix, and we're looking at a 2022 Murata. This thing's awesome. Wait till you see the inside. And it's a 2022. All right, come on, come with me. Oh, oh, oh. It's model number 35ES. Come on. I sort of peeked around a little bit at this one first. Normally I don't, but there's a ton of storage in this, much more than uh, normal. Um, this is not a diesel pusher. Again, it's built on the on a Ford chassis, right? So it's not built on the commercial type Freightliner chassis. Uh, and typically when it's built uh, um, not on a commercial chassis, there's not as much storage, but there's a lot of storage in this sucker. So, um, but if you look up, Lisa, you'll see there's an awning that starts just about at the beginning. So it covers the whole door and it goes all the way down the side and stops right there at the slide. Now you'll also notice as you're looking up, it says frameless windows, right? So you've got upgraded windows in here, which is really cool, right? So here's a TV that's always mounted outside. There's struts that go on here that are not currently on there, so that would you wouldn't have to hold that up. But uh, they're not on there right now, right? Slam latches. By the way, look how thick that door is. I mean, that is really thick, right? I mean, solid. Now, when I was talking about storage, come down here, look at this. Look at how much storage there is. See, there's this whole area here, plus up above and all the way through to the other side. In fact, you can see all the way through into these other compartments here. Just stay right there. Open the doors and you can get some light in there, right? So you can see all the way through there. Typically, you don't have that with a, with a, 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 a on a Ford chassis. I so, apologize. It's not showing up on the camera. Uh, trust me, it goes all the way through, guys. All right. So come on, here's another little cabinet here. Again, it's access to the big one, but you just have another door. And then here's the third one. Now this doesn't go all the way through because there's more utilities and stuff back here, but another big bay for storage, okay? Over here underneath the slide, again, there's your propane access, okay? Uh, lock. And then this last compartment, is another little place for storage back here too, okay? God, I love the big, thick doors. All right, now as you come here to the back, nice fiberglass back, which is awesome. It is unleaded fuel, as we already mentioned, it's not diesel, okay? And so uh, you'll put unleaded. You can put a hitch on, I mean, there's a receiver down here, so you can tow. I'll, I'll leave a link in, uh, not a link, I'll just put right, I don't know how much you can tow, I'm gonna figure that out. If, you should be reading it right now, okay? Come on. This is access to sort of a utility area. This is where you would connect your sewer hose, your poles. Um, it's nice you get a, a sewer flush um, connection so you can hook water up, turn it on, and it helps flush out your uh, black tank. That's kind of cool. All right. Here is your electrical panel. What I mean by that is this is where your cable is. Okay, you can stick it out the hole in the bottom, but this is also sort of a fuse box. Okay. Ugh, says me. All right, wow, an onboard generator already there. It's an inverter, right? It's the NPS 5500 Eco. Basically, that means you're never without power. I love it, absolutely love it. All right, moving on. Now there's some more compartments under here. This is the other side. Oh, wow, well, this is actually another uh, tech compartment. This is, the uh, storage is up front. So this is where you connect your water. There's another sewer connection up here that you can see. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Um, you also see there's a water filter already uh, built into uh, into the system, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all, Lisa. I wasn't either. Yeah, nice. Right? Right? All right, here's the other storage compartments. Right, there we go. We can see through there now. Ah, uh, there, there we go. We go. Right. There's the light we were yeah. looking for. Look, look at how much storage there is, guys. <laughs> That's unbelievable. All right. Uh, shut that. Shut that. Now, this one says it's not a storage compartment. Let's see why. What's in here? Well, there's nothing. But you can see the chassis underneath there. You can see the leveling system. Obviously, it's going to level itself. It's self-leveling. There's uh, controls inside. And so that's just kind of a, a neat look at the, the chassis. I kind of like that. Yeah, we don't see that too often. No. All right, come on, let's go inside. I'm going to go sit in the driver's seat. I'm trying to move the seat. That 
returns it. Where the heck is it? Okay, we're in the driver's seat. Now, again, I'm six foot four for those of you who don't know. And uh, the chair, oh my gosh, it is incredibly comfortable. Um, but this is as far as it goes back. So for me at my height with my leg length, this would be a little uncomfortable for me to drive a long time. But, but we don't typically drive very long as it is now. I mean, we try to keep our driving days to six, seven hours. So it wouldn't be bad. Um, but as you can see, it, it's a little bit from the angle of my leg. It's just, it's not as comfortable as as uh, uh, other vehicles I've been in. Of course, I'm not gonna lie to you, I haven't sat in a lot of seats of the uh, Class A's we've been in, and some of our uh, uh, our viewers, if you will, the Tall Man Clan has asked me to sit in the seat so you could see. Um, the steering wheel is at a great height. It is comfortable. Um, I just would be worried about my leg, you know, long-term driving. But short-term, definitely a plus. Everything you need is right here, okay? Over here I talked about the leveling system. It's right here. Okay, you get sun visors, you get all the controls on the dashboard. Um, obviously, you can see the, the front. There's some more switches up here for some auxiliary stuff as well. Uh, map leading, reading lights, you got a radio, and I believe that's for your backup camera, okay? So, on Lisa's side, which you didn't see, this whole thing folds up, or folds out, and you have a little workstation. I guess I'd have to either teach Lisa how to edit videos or how to drive. <laughs> I don't know. Editing videos, I think, would be less challenging than me trying to use a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> my, my wife's a, a PC person. I'm a Mac person. I so, am so Mac challenged. How, how would you like to drive the bus? You want to drive the bus? You can drive the bus. You can drive the bus. Okay, I'll edit you drive the bus. All right, so come back here where I'm standing, Lisa, and then look forward again. Because right above the cockpit, this is another bed. So when you're parked, this would come all the way down to here and you have another spot for someone to sleep, which is kind of neat. And the way this is designed is because the door is back here. When you're parked somewhere, this could actually stay down full time if you wanted it when you're parked, obviously not while you're driving, okay? So coming in as you came in the door, there was some storage underneath the steps. There's some control panels right here to your left um, when you come in for your awnings and slides and things. Okay, so a light switch right there. There's also this neat little extra Right, this is some extra workspace. Uh, I can't get it to stay up there right now. So, but this is like a little extra prep space when you're in the kitchen, okay? We'll talk about the kitchen in a minute. So when we spin around, look at this. You got your dining room, you got your living room. I, I like the decor. You know, I like the, the, the way that the clock matches the glass on the, uh, the lights that match the, the valances and the, the colors of the wall. It, it does. And the fabrics, it really does tie together nicely, doesn't it? It does. I'm not the interior design type, but the colors just sort of, they're very comforting, right? Yes. So um, this is nice. This also folds down to be a bed, okay? If you need extra sleeping space for people, these, as you can see, pull out, great access. So here's the sofa, guys. And uh, look, there's seat belts, which means you can actually have passengers seat belted in here riding legally as you're driving down the road. So you can fit four people in here. Actually, there's seat belts here on the dining room too. So you could have at least six people belted in here while you're driving. Let's look on this one too. Oh, look at this one. That makes eight, right? Two, four, six, eight. You can actually have eight people in this vehicle seat belted as you're driving down the road legally. That is pretty special. Speaking of special, Lisa and I, we need your help. Do us a huge favor. Smash the subscribe button, right? Thumbs up, bell, the whole nine yards. It really helps us, we really need your help. Do us a favor, thank you so much. All right, so let's sit here. This is actually very comfortable, guys, all right? And uh, this does, uh, I think, fold out to be a bed as well. Yes, it does. This uh, is like a jackknife sofa, so you have a bed as well. And right across, sort of a little bit diagonally, here, I'll take this. This is the, the entertaining area, right? There's your TV, okay? Um, nice 40 inch, okay? Uh, beneath it, you got a nice gray stone fireplace um, that also puts out heat. So if you're somewhere it's cold, you get some extra heat there. Little tabletop there. 
and you get some storage up here, but you won't be able to store too much on this side because this is another control panel, okay? Um, so this is where you check your tanks to see how full they are. Again, you control your awnings and slides and things from in there. So you wouldn't want to put too much in there. But we're going to back up just a scooch to look at this kitchen because we kind of glazed over it a little bit, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We started over here with the little um, prep area that pops up. So that's nice. I yeah. really do like the extra countertop space. Um, we have actually a bag over our faucet. So let's see. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That is nice. So we have a tall faucet. Solid surface countertops yeah, too, by the way. Very heavy. Ooh, Ooh, real stainless. Real stainless. Right? Nice big basin. Lots of countertop space. So we do have a three burner stove. Yeah. We have an oven. Nice oven. Let's see what is this underneath. We have storage. Uh, some more storage over oh, yeah. here. Open up that, because I think that's all one. Yeah, it is. That's all one. Open up the other door. Yeah, yeah. see, that's all one compartment all the way through there. Like nice. That. And we have some drawers over here. Those nice, soft clothes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nice. And then like up above, that. there's storage from the door all the way through. Right. We didn't even look at this, did we? No, I don't, I don't think, think so. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so some nice big storage there. Nice big storage here. Yep. Nice LG microwave too. Look at that. Right. Storage overhead. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. That's a that's a big one. And I like the uh, that's actual tile by the way. Yeah, the tile backsplash. Yeah, that's nice. Well, side splash. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It can't be a back if it's on the side. <laughs> oh yeah. This just got here, guys. I mean, look, everything's still all sort of in its travel position from getting here from the manufacturer. Speaking of which, I didn't cover it real quick, but all the numbers are sort of over here, okay? And so we don't talk about a lot of numbers um, with the Class A's, but this sucker has a, uh, what does it say, gross vehicle weight of 9,979 pounds? I don't think that's right. So we're gonna put a little description down um, in there because it does say it can carry um, 3,784 pounds. So we'll just put some notes down there in the description. Uh, not in the description, in the video. You're probably looking at it right now. And so uh, you'll see what the weights are. But uh oh, you know what time it is. It's time for Thomas Toilet Test. Ah! All right, this is a porcelain foot flush toilet. And it's kind of turned sideways. And because it's turned sideways, uh, for those who don't know, I'm six foot four, so use my height as reference as we're walking around this RV, okay? My foot's just sort of in the doorway. It's not a bad thing, because uh, I could just turn just a little bit. Um, but the toilet is facing this way right here, like so, okay? So all in all, <laughs> now, right across from me this way is a nice uh, sink, right? Lots of counter space around there, right? It's got a nice faucet under here, too, that's also in a bag so it doesn't get dirty, all right, to transport. But look at that cabinet underneath, Lisa. Wow, that's huge space. You could put like, you know, one of those 24 packs from like Sam's or Costco in there. At least. <laughs> right? Maybe a, a pack and a half. Maybe. Above, nice medicine chest. Goes all the way to the top and speaking to the top pipe, obviously you can see my whole head in there. So there's no having to slouch in here. All right, so if you spin right around, look at this, y'all. Bunks or a separate room of some kind if you didn't want to use it uh, for a bunk. This actually flips up, right? And so this could actually, for me, if we wanted to make some augmentations, I would take this thing out, I would turn this into an office, like an editing, like, like our office, or a mobile office. Wouldn't that be awesome? If not, it could be a huge closet, right? Because there's a huge hanging rod here. Um, but if not, it's two bunks. So you could sleep two people here as well. And it's got its own door and it's a barn style door. That is really neat, Lisa. That is really neat. All right, off into the bedroom. All right, this also has sort of a sliding door to close off the bedroom space. And um, a nice, again, I'm gonna call this a, a oh, you can see the size is written right here. This is a 70 by 70. No, it's 53 and a half by 70. That doesn't seem right. You think that's 50, that's bigger than 53 and a half. That looks bigger than 53 that's, and a half. That's, that's, so it's gotta be 70 by 80, 
right? So it's not quite a residential. Can I, I'm sorry, we don't have our, our tape measure with us. I don't um, think it's 80. It looks kind of short. Well, it's because it's, it's, with all the pillows. it's slid back a little bit with all the pillows. But this is definitely a little bit bigger than the queen. Um, it, it is a flip because this is on a slide. So when the slide comes in, this has to flip up. So, yeah. Oh, you know what it is? It's two sections. So it's 70 by 75. So it's a weird shape size because of the slide, okay? Well, anyway, it is comfortable. This isn't just a placeholder type uh, a mattress, which is nice. Now underneath, you've got storage drawers, right? Which is awesome, all right? There's no storage underneath, right? Because this is on a slide. It just acts as your storage underneath there, okay? Across from us, you've got a built-in TV, which is cool, and you've got a nice dresser, right? Deep drawers. Look at that. That is nice. Right? Which, by the way, again, if y'all are catching us for the first time, Lisa and I, we, we are not RV salespeople, which is why we don't uh, have all the finer details, right? Well, we're just RV enthusiasts. We, we're traveling the country, and we, we stop in RV dealers, and we love to show you the RVs. And so if we miss something, we apologize. If we get something wrong, we apologize. We do our best, and uh, we put all the, the mistakes typically <laughs> down in comments. So... Uh, Hang with us, let's keep on going because above the bed, there's uh, some storage up there, which is kind of neat too, right? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, absolutely. And then as we get towards the back, we have just a couple of things we have to do. There's a place for a washer and dryer in here, right? Um, it says it's prepped for it, and I'm assuming this is where it is, but I don't see any hookups for it, right? But it's, it's louvered, so this is definitely where the washer and dryer goes. Um, they just have a panel over here, so the hookups aren't there, but that is definitely washer dryer hookup. Okay, and then you got a nice storage unit up above there. Then we get in here to the other bathroom, the main bathroom. I'm not going to sit on this toilet. We've already done the to tall man toilet test. As you can see from where it's placed, there is plenty of room in there. Okay, above the toilet, there's some storage for some stuff, which is great. This is sort of like your vanity in here because the mirror is flat against the wall. There's, it's not, you know, like a medicine chest. So that would be sort of your medicine chest, if you will, to put all your things in there. Okay, on this side, that's where you can put all kinds of stuff in there. Look at that. Get an extra set of sheets in there. Enough towels for a football team, right? At Lots. least. Right. And then right here in front, nice, huge mirror, right? Look where Lisa's standing. You can, uh, I can see her with them. You, you could like check yourself out. We're getting dressed to go out, you know, somewhere nice or whatever. You could see your whole self in there. Yeah. At least I can from where I'm standing. Um, anyway, sink, lots of counter, uh, a cabinet, a countertop space, right? So for leaving out those things that you need to leave it out on a regular basis, there's plenty of room for that. And there's some storage underneath here too, which is generous, right? <laughs> Excuse me. There's some drawers. These are all soft clothes as well. I love that. And there's also cubbies down here that look my, all the way back. So I mean, there's just lots of storage in this bathroom. So, all right, let's uh, let's climb in the shower, guys. Let's see what that looks like. Wow, look at how big that shower is, Lisa. That is really a lot deeper than I was expecting. I know. Look, look I mean, yeah, <laughs> huge. Yeah. Hey, it's a two-person shower. Hey. It really is. I mean, it's it's really really big. Um, guys, remember, I'm six foot four. I'm not even in the bubble. And there's about uh, two inches. So you could be six foot six and not have to be in the bubble. Um, standing in the bubble, you could be probably six foot nine here. Hang on. Yeah, that much space. So that's, uh, oh geez, one, two, three, four, five, five, six. Yeah, six foot nine, six foot ten standing in the bubble. Right? In fact, let me put this up. Um, I think the, the shower head's slightly low for, for being a tall person because you see the angle of it, right? So, but you just, I mean, tall person, usually we all have to do that anyway, so it's not a big deal, right? Uh, you got a couple shelves for soaps and things, and we have this little corner caddy in our shower that would fit really nice up there in the front. I actually, I absolutely love the shower. Yeah, it's nice. All right, so let us know what you think of this 2022. Wow, we're, we're impressed. I mean, we haven't been in a ton of uh, Class A's, whether they're diesel pushers or not. Um, there's been a few, and there's a couple that we really, really like. But I think this one, for, for being a, a, a non-diesel pusher, I think this goes to the top of our list, right? I agree. 
It has everything in it that we would be looking for in, in something like this. Absolutely everything. Hey guys, you all know what to do. Thumbs up. Tall Man Clan, God bless you guys. We love you. Until we see you all again, be safe.